everyone. I am Kentia Smith. I am the NC Realtors Housing Foundation Director. I hope you are doing well. As you know, we are filming our Meet Our 2024 series. This series is to showcase our 2024 leadership at our local associations and to learn more about our associations and the, the work of the foundation. Today, I have the honor of interviewing the 2024 High Point Association of Realtors 2024 President, Ms. Fonda Norris. I appreciate you so much for doing this interview with me. Thank you, Kentia. So I always start off with the first question of, were you born in North Carolina? Are you a North Carolinian or did you move here from somewhere else? Oh, true blue, true blue North Carolinian. I was born and raised in Thomasville, North Carolina. Still live in Thomasville, North Carolina. Graduated from Thomasville High School, Davidson County Community College and High Point University. Awesome. So that's going to get me to my second question. Was real estate your first profession that you wanted or how did you get into it? Okay. I got into real estate in 2012 after realizing that I was retiring from state law enforcement in 2014 after my 30 years of service. So to me, real estate was and is a fun job that allows me to continue to help and serve. I have to ask, what did you do with law enforcement? I was a state parole officer. Oh, awesome. Okay. So I bet you have a, a lot of uh, great stories and experiences from that. And so you 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 retired and you just decided to like try something new and, and got your real estate license? Yes, ma'am. Um, two years before I retired, I knew that I would have too young to sit down and mm -hmm. uh, sit in a rocking chair all day long. So I said, hey, I'm going to continue to serve people and, and meet fine folks. And I've done that. That is awesome. And so from that, how did you get to being um, a realtor to now being the 2024 High Point Association's president? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Um, completely humbled and excited and overwhelmed and at the responsibility of um, of just being over or working with, not over, but working with such fabulous people at the High Point Realtors Association. I'm truly, truly blessed that I'm in this position. And 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 were you nervous when you were asked to do president or how did you kind of come to those terms that was something you was ready to do? Girl, was I nervous? That's, <laughs> I'm still nervous. Um, I'm excited. I was asked several times by our current president, Karen Allred, and she said, oh, please run with me, run with me, run with me. She finally wore me down. And I said, absolutely. If that's going to take care of you, I will. So we have been in great partnership and uh, hopefully led the association right on into 2014. I spoke to Karen. Uh, 2024. She is, awesome. <laughs> yeah, she is awesome. She speaks very highly of you. Um, and she and she says she thinks you, you are going to be a wonderful president. I um, hope I can definitely do it. Yes. And so that gets me to my question of would you coming behind so many, you know, wonderful leaders? What is your goal or what is it you want to make sure you continue when it comes to being the president of your association? I am in a unique situation. Our association just celebrated its 100th year this year. Yes, so indeed. I get the honor. And we had a great roaring 20s night the other night. So it was really fabulous. I get Ooh, the honor. Did you dress up? Girl, please look at our Facebook page and you'll just see us all. We look beautiful. Rick, so, I love the 20s. I love it. The, the elegance and the dress. Oh, man, I bet that was cool. It was fancy. We did well. We did well. So I get the honor of, even though I'm 101, I get the honor of being the first. Mm-hmm. By that, uh, I mean the, the first of a new century. Mm -hmm. of a, that's what I was going to say, the first of, of a new century. And that's and right. and that is that is so true. That's kind of how I feel with the um, foundation. We are going to be in our 20th year next year. And I get to be the director, uh, hopefully, if they still want me to be there. <laughs> Let's hope I'm doing a good job. But I get the honor of being the director for them for 20 years. And we've had some amazing presidents and leadership. And so I feel the same way. I feel honored to be the person that's going to be, you know, coming in in that 20th century. Um, I always ask the members I'm speaking to, because I think it's important to know 
What do you know about the foundation? Now, I know High Point has its own foundation, but do you know anything about NC Realtors Housing Foundation? Well, if I can get back to my presidency, can I back up one second here? Uh-huh. Um, being the first, I get so excited about that. Um, I actually have so many shoulders of 100 people that I can stand on and, and learn, learn from and hope to build a foundation that they started. Um, my goal this year is to get out of our comfort zone. I'd like for all of our association members to make good things happen in their sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see all our members move toward more designations and expand their community service in a way that they know they have left a legacy and impact on other people, not just to exist, but to exist for others. And so what does that mean? Like, what is your vision when you say that? What would you like to see? Well, I'd like for, you know, realtors have been compared to in the in the past as car salesmen, things like that. You know, it's like, oh, why realtors? But I want realtors to get out there. I want our association to lead in community service. I want our association to be valuable, our people to know that we're here because of people. Realtors are not out there on an island on their self. So I really want people to move toward designations, which is education. And then also just to get out of a comfort zone. You know, we get so comfortable sitting at home or getting on the phone, selling a house, something like that. Get out. Let's meet people. Let's do for people instead of just existing and waiting on people to call us. Let's get out and show who we are. Realtors are extremely important. Yes, and, and I love that because a lot of our associations have their own mission. What is some of the community things that High Point is known for doing um, when it comes to your nonprofit and just community outreach and what you like to expand on? Okay, our association um, takes up for United Way. We do warm gloves and coats and hats for homeless shelters. Give a, coat camp give a kid a coat campaign. Mm -hmm. Fill the bus, which is school supplies. Uh, we have school supply drives, picnic in the park, which supports our local boys and girls homes by sponsoring these children for a day of baseball and food at the High Point Rockers Stadium, cornhole tournament that raises money for Heroes House for our veterans, and an annual golf tournament for local charities. We also do a Christmas toy drive for local children who would otherwise have little or nothing for Christmas. And there's so many different uh, offices that sponsor events and um, community events that we all try to definitely take part in. And I heard about you all's uh, The Day for the Children in the Park. I thought that was a great event. I heard about that over the summer. Well, can you come on out. We will let you sit with us and watch <laughs> these children's eyes as they gleam. Because some of them, you know, have never even been to a professional stadium before. Or yes. have that opportunity. So it is fabulous. They have a great time. And I and I love the, the fact that you all are helping the homeless. High Point has a very high homeless population. And um unfortunately, there's not the same services that they can get linked to in Greensboro. It's coming. There's a lot of great talk with High Point government about, you know, kind of having a central location similar to the Interactive Resource Center. Um, but one of the biggest things I know from working with the homeless and being at High Point, you all's religious community steps up and really does a lot of things to, um, you know, help the homeless. And so I know a lot of those things, you all work with them, you know, different churches who kind of help with those types of things, because it's a very big thing that they do in High Point. It is. And you know what? We're we're not only by the grace of God are we not those people. So we could be in that same situation yes. with one little bitty incident in our life. Yep. So, you know, we're, we, we've got to help everybody. We've yep. got to have our hand out for everybody. Yes. Yes. And you've all got some great shelters in High Point. Um, I love Leslie's house and Mr. Brad. He, that is an amazing women's shelter. And so I, I truly think that's, that's great work that you're doing. Um, and I guess my last question is um, when it comes to being a leader, well, I have two glass questions. What do you think some of your best traits are going to be for you to be a good leader? Like, what do you think you already possess that's going to make you a great leader for your found for your um, local association? 
Okay. Um, I'm a listener. Um, I am not a strong arm ruler. Mm -hmm. I really, really like to, like I said, stand on the shoulders of or lean on the shoulders of the people that have come before me. So I do like to take all that this this association has had from the beginning and learn from that. I, I like to um, talk to people, find mm -hmm. out what their ideas are. How can I move forward? Kinti, I want to remain humble. I, I, I want to remain a person that you can always approach yeah and, um you know i there's not a bone in my body that would not remain humble and kind yeah. and i think that's the best quality you can have is that i'm always going to remember who i am and what i come through and how i can always be a help to people i think that's one of the things I like about being a social worker, I always tell people, I always want to remember what it's like to sit on the opposite side of the desk. You yes, know, me. being a client, getting those services, I never want to get this above attitude. So I think that is one of the best things you can have is being humble and just really trying to be there for people. And my final question I always ask is not on there, but I love this question. As we get into the holiday and we're in the fall season, how does Fonda know that the fall and winter is winter has come? Like, what is your thing that lets you know, you know, we're transitioning to the fall or we're going to get prepared for the holidays? Is there a certain food? Um, what do you do when you know that the holidays and the fall is coming in? Girl, pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> pumpkin spice it up. And uh and then peppermint bark it up after that. So we're good. Yes, doing... <laughs> yes. I love pumpkin spice, Um, anything. And I keep saying I need to get to Wendy so I can try their pumpkin frosty because someone told me if you love pumpkin, it is really good. I I, I love that answer because you, you're right. The smell of that fresh pumpkin um, is so good. And then as you get close to Christmas, smelling that peppermint and stuff, it just really opens you up and like make you feel that warm feeling inside. So I think that is a great response. Fonda, I am so glad you did this interview with me. I think you're going to be an amazing president. I think High Point is an amazing association. Um, I will be attending one of your events in November, which I'm excited to do. Um, it's a membership meeting, so we will meet in person. But I truly am thankful to you for doing this interview with me. Thank you, Kentian. Thank you for, answer, for asking me to do this. And I look forward to meeting you. Awesome. Go, Talk to you soon. 2024. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.